Hey guys, it's Karen here. Today I'm going to be doing my fourth Stitch Fix box. This may be my last Stitch Fix. Um, last box I didn't keep anything and the two boxes before that I only kept one thing from each box. I did like a lot of the stuff in each box but Stitch Fix is just like pretty expensive. I don't really like to pay $98 for jeans or $50 for shirts. I don't have like $200 or $300 for five items of clothing. I mean, that's just insane to me. Maybe if I had a lot of money, I would spend that much, but I'm like a JCPenney's, Kohl's, Target shopper, and I like to spend like $30 on a piece of clothing if I really love it. If not, uh, $10 to $12, that would be great. I understand if you buy like more expensive pieces, it's supposed to last longer, but I mean, what are you, wearing these things every day? Come on now. Anyways, my box is right here. I'm gonna open it up for you, see what we got, and I'll let you know if I'm keeping anything this time and if I'm gonna keep my subscription going. If you watched my last video, you saw that I did a Wantables box um, unboxing, and I really liked that. I liked um, a lot of the clothes that they sent me, and the prices were almost half as cheap as Stitch Fix. So, unless Stitch Fix does something with the prices, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna keep going with Wantables. I'll link the video in the description box below. Um, and I'll put it right here for you um, if you want to watch that after, too. But yeah, I really like those. So we'll see. Wannables or Stitch Fix. Let's do this. All right, it's a pretty small package. This is it. I don't have high hopes. First thing is a pair of jeans. I think I asked for distressed jeans, so there's like a little one right here, a little here, and here, so that technically is distressed. Um, we'll see if I like them. All right, next up we have a red cardigan. I actually like cardigans a lot. This is a uh, not too heavy. It's got like a weird drapey thing here. For the pocket, are you seeing this? Um, I'm sure it'll look fine on. We'll try it on and see. This is like my favorite color right now, so I actually do like that. Next up is a lightweight shirt, see-through with this uh, cross pattern here in the front. I'm gonna look cute on. Three-quarter length sleeve. Um, yeah, it's more for like spring or fall because it's really lightweight, but I guess if you pair it with a cardigan, it'll probably be good. So I'll try that on. Next up is um, this. That's the back. This is the front. Um, I don't mind it. We'll try it on, but I feel like this is something my mom would wear. So I might have to pass. We'll have to see the prices as well, but I'm thinking no. And then last I have another sweater. This is like wide here. So I don't know how you would wear a bra with that. And I like to wear bras. You know. Because I do. So, and it's kind of short. Um, what does it say? Off the shoulder knit top. <clears throat> I don't really care for off the shoulder. But I do like cold shoulders. But I can at least wear a bra with a cold shoulder. All right, I'm gonna go try these on and let you know. Um, not looking too good, but yeah, let's do this. All right, guys, well, here's the first outfit. I have the black and white striped shirt on, with a little detail up here, and then the cardigan. It's actually pretty cute. I don't mind it. I have the jeans on as well. Um, they fit decent. They're a little loose. I always have to pull my jeans up. I don't know if that means my hips are too small or what. But yeah, I like it. Um, I don't know what to say. All the tops are $48. Um, this one, this one, and the other two. And then the jeans are 88. I just don't know if I wanna pay $48. 
for this. This is like something I could buy at Forever 21 for 10 to $12 right here. But I like it. I don't mind it. Looks cute. What do you think? Should I keep anything? Should I keep these? If you like any of this, let me know in the comments below what you like. All right, the next. All right, well, here's the next top. It's like a cute, I like the way it fits. Um, nice and loose. Uh, I just don't really care for the pattern. The colors are fine, I just, I, I don't know. <laughs> I really think my mom has something like this and I just, I just can't, so. Yeah, this is a no. I mean, what do you think? I mean, what do you think? Yeah, no? What do you think? All right, last up we have the off the shoulder top. Um, it's not really off the shoulder. I mean, you're supposed to wear it like this or like do you like pull it down and have it like this? I don't know. That, I'm cold. But yeah, it's too tight. And I just, I just don't like it. What do you think? I mean, who really likes it? Come on. If you don't like this, I don't like it. You can't like it. Maybe for you, not for me. Oh well. All right guys, well that was my last Stitch Fix box. What did you think? Should I keep anything? Should I not keep anything? I don't think I'm going to keep anything. Um, if you saw my Wannables video, uh, give this video a thumbs up. I'm pretty sure I'm going to stay with Wannables. Um, if you didn't see it, go watch it and then comment on either this video or that video and let me know which one I should stay with. I really like Wannables. I did really like Stitch Fix and I'm excited that it was my first box and unboxing and, and clothes to be sent to me. It's just I, they don't get me. I also have had four different stylists now. I've never had the same stylist. So maybe if they kept the same one, she'd actually be able to style me eventually. But the fact that they're just like, oh, here, you try. No, you try. No, you try. Well, so I think we have a clear winner. And it's got to be Wannables. Yeah. I'll leave a link to both of these below if you want to try one of these boxes out. Um, and let me know what you think of them. All right, I'll talk to you all soon. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can see more. Bye. Uh, uh, shoulder I don't know why I did that.